M0 FXB, welcome Thank back you. to the channel. Just a quick one. And Someone asked me to put these everything. side by side. So on the left, you've got the UVK5, the nice yellow screen, beautiful radio. And on the right hand side, you've got the TID yeah, radio no H3, and both sounding good. If I turn the down the H3, um, and the last three of the call sign is turn up the UVK5. Radio. I like them both. They're both pretty much six band radios. There's different modifications for both. E Just going to turn down the K5 or K6. And, um, and they both do right. air band. Yeah. Okay. The firmware okay. hacks okay. for this are just okay. unbelievable. Okay. Check out TID okay. hacking okay. on Facebook by Marcus yeah. for the yeah. new hacks yeah. for this where they've added a, 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 a signal yeah. meter, a boot up um, logo, up a sideband, uh, it's just lot, it will interface with your computer, full screen control on your PC. But then you've just got the basics, you know, the A and B. Same goes for this radio for the K5. Let's just go back a minute, hold it down. Type in your frequencies, memory channels. There's even modifications to make this one do APRS just with hard, with firmware. So size wise, they um, I would say that this feels slightly smaller but chunkier. The, I, the battery, I feel like the battery lasts a bit longer on my TID. Full color screen, of course, with the TID, which you don't get on the UVK5. But there is, you know, there is an appeal price wise. You know, you've seen these UVK5 sell for ten pounds. These you're going to be looking at twenty five pound. To get one of these bluetooth built in for programming not for audio just for programming with the od master app you've got twin ptt on the on the tid i don't have a preference but at the moment you know because i've not had the tids for very long i've been using them probably more recently the because the battery lasts so long and it did just work great, but they both do DTMF. This one with the modification board can do HF right down, uh, I think right down to about three megahertz or less possibly. So I just thought I'd show them side by side. The torch on the H3 is definitely brighter than the torch on the, Let's see if I got a shortcut here for the torch. Yeah, there it is. I mean, it's not, look at that. And then you do the other one. Wow, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's definitely a, a better torch. They both do broadcast radio, so blue FM. Like so, and on this one, I think you just hold down FM. Let's try FM zero. There you go, both do broadcast radio. Yeah. But then you'll find that the ham radio stuff will kick in, but it does do it. Why they didn't, they did the, you know, the signal meter tiny thing here and didn't put it at the top. Because at the top, when you key, it just shows your power. It actually says power there. Right um, but there's lots of tweaks that can be done on this. They've, I know they've added mic gain onto the H3 as well. And yes, you've got this yellow version and the black version. Uh, I like them all. I like them all. Like I said, it, you know, 25 quid, sometimes less, and you've got it forever. Go to McDonald's, spend 20 quid on McDonald's, it's gone, you know. So to me, it's a no-brainer. Bye for now, 7-3.